So let's just talk about like a, a typical leads queue. And uh, here as you're spinning through your leads queue, of course, these these activities uh, are all add in place as well. So if I if I wanted to make my call, you'll even notice um, here I've got a telephony integration going on. So we work with all the major uh, uh, click to dial applications you name it and we work with it so you know you could if you have a click to dial application you can dial right from your leads queue and then you make your call and uh, you know you log your call and you get the infamous you know left voicemail uh, that kind of thing but you're banging out your calls right here add in place you don't have to do really leave that screen and you're on to your next call and you're you're editing whatever it is you know if you if you some people do you know they'll change that status to uh you know first call second call third call uh that kind of thing so you can edit all of that data right there in place but um i was watching our our conga uh sales guys uh, that are managing the leads queue and they were prepping for this actual webinar and one of the great benefits of action grid here you know uh, just the day-to-day -day stuff is great but what about you know doing something like this where we select all these people you know select a group of people whatever it is and then we use this action Action Grid is all about actionability, and we don't have time to go through all these awesome actions in Action Grid, but one of the sales rep's uh, friends is uh, Batch Email, and this is Batch Email using Salesforce's standard Batch Email, uh, but it's brought forward in a more intuitive manner. So I'm going to select all those records. I'm going to choose a Salesforce, out of box Salesforce template email template it's going to go through the salesforce api uh, so all you admins on the line it's restricted still by salesforce's rules and security so you don't you know you, you're you're really secure to do that and then we just send off this email like so and uh, you know it'll send the email you can see actually I did that earlier today uh, so I've reached my limit for the day but uh, what you can see here is if I switch on over to my Gmail uh, we can see that there's the standard email that's going to go out uh, for each rep and it's going to be logged against the activity history just like you know anything else you can see there it is the mass email web attendee email uh, to do that so that's just a few of the things that a, a you know card carry and sales guy can can benefit from